Hi all, this is a lecture on uniform continuity of a function. When dealing with the behavior of a function, continuity is of great importance and more importance is therefore checking whether a function is uniformly continuous or not. Mathematically speaking, a function is said to be uniformly continuous provided for any epsilon greater than 0, there exists a delta greater than 0 such that whenever distance between two points is less than delta, distance between their images under that function is less than epsilon. Uniform continuity is a property of a function on a set whereas continuity is defined for a point in that particular set. For a uniformly continuous function, the delta depends on epsilon alone whereas for a continuous function, delta depends on epsilon and the particular point we choose. We know that uniform continuity implies continuity. However, the converse need not be true. But there are cases where continuity and uniform continuity are one and the same. We see that result now. A continuous function defined on a compact metric space is uniformly continuous. Let us go with the proof. Let f be a function which is continuous and defined on a compact metric space x into a metric space y. Let epsilon greater than 0 be given. As f is given as a continuous function for some point p belonging to x, let delta p greater than 0 be found such that for q belonging to x, if the distance between p and q is less than delta p, then distance between f of p and f of q is less than epsilon by 2. Let us put this as equation number 1. We define a new set j sub p as the set of all q in x such that distance between p and q is less than delta p by 2. Obviously, j p is an open set. As this is true for all p in x, the collection j p covers x. Since x is a compact metric space, we see that for some finite n, j p 1, j p 2 up to j p n can cover x. Now, we find delta in a particular manner by taking the minimum of all these delta p. Fix delta as the half of the minimum of all these delta p 1, delta p 2 up to delta p n. As delta is the minimum of a finite number of positive quantities, delta is greater than 0. So, this is our delta with respect to the epsilon what is already chosen. Now, let q and p be chosen from x such that distance between them is less than delta. As p belongs to x, there exists a JPM such that it belongs to the finite collection of open sets that covers x. However, the center of JPM is PM. Hence, distance between P and PM is less than delta PM by 2. But since f is continuous by equation number 1, we have that distance between f of p and f of pm is less than epsilon by 2. Moreover, applying triangle inequality, we can see that distance between q and pm is less than or equal to distance between q and p plus distance between p and pm. That is, distance between q and pm is less than delta p by 2 plus delta which is of course less than delta p m by 2. Hence, again by applying continuity of f, we have that distance between f and q and f of p m is less than epsilon by 2. Hence, by applying triangle inequality, we see that distance between f of p and f of q is less than or equal to distance between f of p and f of p m plus distance between f of p m and f of q. This is of course less than epsilon. Hence, the choice of epsilon greater than 0 
we found del delta such that for any two points p and q in x, distance between them is less than delta immediately implies that distance between f of p and f of q is less than epsilon. This shows that f is uniformly continuous on x. Thank you very much.